Mount Zion families. You caught me. I was just mailing out money to each of you this week so that you could go shopping. And then when you were shopping and buying yourself stuff, you'd think of me and you'd remember how much I missed you. So I was going to put this money in the mail to you this week. What? What do you mean it's not real? How can you tell? You're right. It is Monopoly money. Good eye. But what about this dollar bill? Is this one real? Well, let's see. I mean, it's definitely bigger than Monopoly money, and it's a different color, and it's printed on both sides. And this dollar bill says, huh, United States Treasury. That's a good indication. And it's got George Washington on it, so it must be real. But did you know that even as distinct as this dollar bill is, there's still people who try to copy it? It's called counterfeiting. They try to make money look real, but it's not really real. And they use the same copy paper and the same ink and the same designs, but it's still counterfeit. You see, you can't really tell a dollar bill just by looking at it from the outside. You have to look at the inside of a dollar bill. I bet you didn't even know there was an inside to a dollar bill. I didn't know there was an inside to a dollar bill. But there is. There's a security line inside of every dollar bill. And in order to see it, you have to hold it up to the light. And it's a little fiber that's made of plastic or metal, depending on what size your dollar bill is, a five or a 10 or a 20. And the only way to see it is to hold it up to the light. And then you should see a straight line that goes across. And that's how you know it's real, by looking at the inside of the dollar bill. So, it's not what you see on the outside that makes it real, it's what's on the inside. And you know, the Bible says something about that too, similar to that for us as a message, that it's not what's on the outside, but it's what's on the inside. I mean, we can go to church and we can sing songs to God and we can put money in the offering plate, but that still doesn't make us a Christian or show that we love God. That's just outward signs. God's actually looking at our heart. It says so in the Old Testament, which is at the beginning of your Bible. In 1 Samuel, verse, well, chapter 16, verse 7, it says, The Lord does not look at things that man looks at. Man looks at outward appearances, but the Lord looks at the heart. So in other words, you can't fool God. There's no counterfeiting your love for God. So this week I have a challenge for you. I want you to see where your actions may be counterfeit. For example, maybe you want to hurry up and get outside, but you're in trouble because you kicked the dog. And so until you tell your, the dog you're sorry, you're not allowed to go outside. So you say, oh, fine, I'm sorry. You didn't really mean that. It was a counterfeit action. Or maybe you have a friend who comes up to you and says that they're really feeling sad about something and you want to hurry up and play. So you say, hey, I'll pray for you. Don't worry about it. I gotcha. And then you forget all about it. Counterfeiting your actions. So this week, I want you to watch your actions and I want you to change them and make them real. Ask God to change the inner fibers of your heart so that when people see you and they see your smiling face, they see a really loving Christian person. But if they look super, super hard inside of you, they see a person who loves God and who loves others. Let's pray. Gracious and amazing God, thank you for loving us so much. Work within our hearts so that we see others and love others the way you do. Bless every child, every marriage, and every household who hears this message. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a safe week, and I hope to see you next week.